so welcome to another video of 30 days 30 submits challenge and for today we are going to create css.loaders so let's come to our vs code and here is my html and css and in the html first of all let's get a boilerplate with exclamation sign and you can hit tab so it will create this nice boilerplate in vs code so after that let's come here and create a section so in the section i will have a div with a class of container and inside the container we will have another div and this will have a dot and we will have another class which will be dot one so this will be our first dot of our dot loaders and we will have two more so this will be second and this will be third so if i save we can refresh but we will not see anything because we don't have anything to see yet so let's style them and before that just link that css file and in our style.css first of all let's remove all unexpected gap so padding will be zero and margin will be zero and also let's say that box sizing will be border box and after that let's come our section and here let's say that the main height will be 100 vh and also the width will be 100 percent and also background color will be let me copy the color And also let's say that display will be flex and align items center and justify content center so basically it will make our website content in the center of our website and after that let's come to our actual container which will contain all of our loaders and here let's say that the margin will be 0 pixel and 50 pixel and also let's say that fit sorry width will be fit content and height will be auto and that's it after that let's come to our dot actual dot here so inside the container we have our dot and for the dot we will have a height of 12 pixel and also the width of 12 pixel and also let's give it a background color so i will use white smoke and here you can see that the background color of section is this color which is this blackish color and in the center of our website we have our dot so we have three dot and if i give them some margin so margin 10 pixel now you can see that they are separated from each other and those are the dots so now what I can say actually I can say something like display inline block now you can see that they are in a row so after that actually we don't need 10 pixel margin what I need actually I need 0 pixel and 5 pixel so now it's looking much better after that let's say that the border radius will be 50 pixel so which will basically make it round as you can see so after that what i need actually i need the animation so let's come here and create a keyframes for the animation so let's name it dot loaders and here let's say that in our zero percent so basically for the animation what i will do actually i will animate it in the translate y so in the translate y i will go from 0 to 20 pixel and again from 20 pixel to 0 so in the 0 percent of our transform so let's say that the transform the translate y will be 0 pixel and whenever i will go to the 50 percent of our animation i will make it 20 pixel so it will go from 0 to 20 actually minus 20 pixels so that's how it will go to the upwards so if i give it positive 20 per 20 pixel it will go to the downward means there so i want it to go 
in the upward so that's why we need the minus 20 pixel so in the 100 percent of our animation i will get back to our zero pixel so basically in the end of our animation this dot will come to the zero pixel translate y so in the beginning it will be here and whenever the animation will start it will go and after that it will come back to the zero so perfect and let's actually apply this in our dot so here i can say something like in our dot animation so it will be dot loaders so that's what we named and 0.9 pixel sorry 0.9 second animation duration and it will be linear and also it will go for the infinite time and it will go forwards so if i save now you can see that the animation is working but we have a problem we need to separately animate each of our dot now what i am having is we are having each of our dot having the same animation and it is starting from the same amount of time so to separate them we can use some delay so here i can say something like in the container for the dot one so i can say animation delay so animation delay for the first one for the first dot will be 0.25 second and i can duplicate these three lines of code for the two and dot number three and for the second dot i will increase the animation delay so it will be 0.5 second and for the third one it will be 0.75 so if i save now you can say that here we have our nice little loading animation so that's it as you can see that so it's working fine actually let's create another one so we will have another container here for our another loaders so this will be our second loaders so in our as you can see that so in our css we need to separate them so we need to separately give the animation here so let's cut it and select our first dot container so we can select container and child so first one and from that i can go to the dot and paste it here so if i save it now you can see that it's having the animation in our first container or first loaders only so also what i need to do actually you can see that here we are giving the animation delay so for now it is not having the animation delay because we need to select it perfectly for now so let's say that we will have this dot and dot and dot so now it will select it perfectly and it will give the animation back as you can see so we are saying that inside the container we will select a dot which also have another class which is the dot one so basically it's selecting the first one and also selecting the second one but we don't have any kind of animation in the second one that's why we can't see the animation delay is working or not so let's create another animation for our second one so here let's say that keyframes so it will be basically same so let's name it dot loaders 2 and here so let's make it capital and here what i need actually i need to change two things for our animation so in the zero percent i want to change the background color and also the size of our dot so i will scale it down a little bit so first of all let's change the background color so let me copy the color it will be something grayish with a little bit of opacity so you can see that we don't have much opacity we have only a little bit so also let's transform it and scale it down so scale 0.8 so it will go a smaller size and whenever i will go to the 50 percent of our animation so it will go to the for 
background color I will make it pure white so we will change the background color whenever we will go to the 50% of our animation also we will transform it and scale it back to our one or we can actually scale it up so 1.5 will be good and after that here and the hundred percent i will say that the background color will be rgba so it will basically this one that we have in our zero percent so paste it here and also transform scale and 0.8 as you can see not transition sorry transform so if i save it and after that let's actually duplicate it and apply it for the second one which is this one and apply this animation which is the two dot loaders two and here we need to actually change the duration of our animation so let's keep it 1.5 second so if i save now you can see that we have these nice dot loaders which having this animation so if you notice here whenever we are doing this animation in the zero percent we have a less opacity and also a smaller dot but whenever we will go to the 50 percent of our animation we are getting a scale it up as you can see that we are getting this big dot and also the color of our background for this time is white whenever it is getting bigger and also in the 100% as you expected we are getting back to our low opacity and also we are scale it down here so that's it for our this video we have now these little dot loaders here and you can use it for your website so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video till then bye bye kudahafas